what is up guys it's so bash welcome back we are back playing some more mew origin and today i want to talk about getting experience and how to level up fast now there's going to be a lot of different ways obviously the first one you can see right here that's already on the screen is my offline experience you get it up for 12 hours you can get two times for uh your zen and you can pay diamonds to get four times that's just it's a grind game guys there's no end to this game so if you don't like endless grinding games that have no end the only purpose is to get your character up to the highest level and kill stuff i like these type of games but for mainly experience you're going to be obviously doing quests like daily quests like this one right here that we're walking to right now now this daily quest uh there's 10 of these you can do all 10 of these and they give around a million experience i believe depending on where you're at as far as your level rebirth wise i'm only up to level 86 rebirth 2 uh, so it does slow down quite a bit after rebirth 2 you can get the first couple in pretty quick doing this method but it's going to slow down regardless uh, but doing them quests daily also don't forget your target quest there's five of those you can do every day and of course your main quest line right now i am still four levels away from completing the requirements to start the next main quest line so i'm having to grind that experience out to continue the quest line now the best way to get your experience is all right obviously we're halfway done through that is doing these of course daily you're going to want to do all your dailies which include your dungeons all the story dungeons you're going to want to farm those daily i actually run those just to get the experience out of those because some of those give better experience you have an xp dungeon you can run zen dungeon i don't believe it gives you an experience of course if killing stuff does give you experience you should get something for killing them i believe you have a party dungeon which is really hard depending on you know which are, one you're going after and the endless tower you can do daily as well and you see zero out of one cleared i haven't cleared them yet today now the next main thing can we we've only got two left one left now on getting this quest complete and then i'll show you how i level all the time and i'm gonna do normal experience upgrade that and there we go all right now, since we're done with here we can let's see i'm going to show you guys basically what i'm going to do to make my levels go up faster all right hit your icon to top left and go to the shop go to your bound diamonds tab now when you first start out you're gonna see one of these these it's going except it's going to be a times two the seal of ascension what this thing does is it gives you three times experience while killing monsters and it lasts for 60 seconds well three times doesn't sound like a lot but if you're killing a lot of stuff it helps out also i do recommend every time you do this every day when you're doing your daily dungeons your experience dungeons use those you're gonna get way more experience by doing that and that's gonna boost you up quite a bit every day because that's several million experience right there in itself also right here uh, the event tab the coliseum every day you get 30 minutes to go to the coliseum to farm as much as you can it's eight times drop rate and eight times experience rate and then you throw your extra three times on top of that you're going to be getting a good bit of experience per kill in there as well now it's not going to be as much as your experience dungeon but it is going to be a good amount all right and there's a lot of other small things that you can get experience from of course like arena every time you do an arena match you're going to get experience from it once you do it 10 times you're going to get experience from a daily thing in the arena it's a, a reward right here you get to claim it it's three million experience so just do your arenas there's even if you're not in the top still do them they're going to give you experience regardless uh events these are the main things that are going to get you a lot of experience in between these and we're going to go in more depth about each one of these because they're each different double square blood castle angel temple chaos castle and illusion temple you're going to want to do them daily if you can as well world boss i don't really ever remember getting experience from that but if you do get lucky and get the kill you get some nice stuff um other than that the coliseum crystal mine is the last place that i can think of currently right now in the events tab that's going to give you experience 
Now you can go in there just for experience, which is the green uh, and the yellows and the blues. And I've never gotten the rainbows yet. I haven't started up trying to get those. Uh, we will start working on that eventually. We do have a guild going. It is Bash Army, capital B and A in that. Uh, just look it up and apply to it and I'll accept you into the guild. But the rainbow crystals give you everything from what I've told, what I've been told. And other than that, guys, that's about it. Where you can get experience from, of course, just going out and regular grinding. If you're going to do that buy the buy the uh, three times item, that way you're always getting more experience every time you kill something. It's only 40 bound diamonds. You can get that easily every day. Uh, you got 30 tries in the crystal dungeon and the crystal mine. All right. So if you just went in there and got the big blue crystal every day, 30 times, that's 20 crystals. And that's only during regular hours during 2200 to 2400. It's two times. So it should be 40 bound diamonds you get from every one of them. All right. So that would be 20 times 30 or the 40 times 30. So whichever one you want to do. I do recommend doing that because that's going to help boost your levels a good bit. If you do like these kinds of games, guys, let me know in the comments below because I like this kind of stuff. This is the kind of game MMORPG type style, endless grinding. There's no end to the game. The only purpose is to better your character and that's why you're playing the game. Uh, Pretty much that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, like I said, leave them in the comments below. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solvash. You guys have a nice day.